little disclosure for this. Um, never go into business with your friends. What's going on, world? So, a little while ago, I was given an ultimatum about my new job that I've only had for a week and a half, two weeks. And I was given an ultimatum to stay there and work like 15 to 20 hours in like two weeks or something like that. And I just chose to walk away. In limits terms, I wasn't completing the basic cooking job in the timely order that they would have liked. Which is fine, companies do have standards. It was just, dealing in the corporate world, you are a number. You can be easily replaced just like that. I was working under my good friend. I've known him for like four or five years possibly. If I'm gonna advise you on anything, it is to never go into business with your friends. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Yeah, yeah. And it could be different from, for some people, but what my friend was wanting from me within a week and a half, two week spectrum, it wasn't unrealistic. I would say it's unreasonable. I originally quit my old job in pursuing this new job for management position. I took the position because it was like seven, eight hundred dollars more about than what I was making now. So old boss, there's this position that I've got. I've got to take this opportunity in order to excel my life. Hey, I'm going. Went for it. Going to training at this new job where I have to be there at nine. So excuse me. So I'm waking up at seven thirty eight to be there at nine sharp on the dot. And there's just a lot of things to absorb in that one week. So I. It wasn't overwhelming, but I have to fit every single portion of all of those aspects from all different parts of the kitchen of this restaurant and cram it into my brain and figure it out within a week. All while I'm trying to figure out where to live at the same time too. So that's a little bit of a stressor. There were mistakes made as there should be when you're learning something new. There's going to be a gigantic learning curve. Absolutely. My buddy. And when he was training me, it was almost like military. I've never been in the military before. But this was a no remorse. Um, there's no positive reinforcement do something wrong i'm telling you why it's wrong as you should but when i do something right it's just huh you know what i mean if you've ever experienced that before maybe my mind isn't like that possibly i have come to the realization that i need more time to learn things but what i don't like being is a number I don't like the fact that I showed up. I left my life in this other town to try my hardest at something that's never been attempted before. And my friend just, uh, I don't know, he pulled a Nazi on me. Just uh, critiquing everything I was doing. Not saying I'm progressing. Um, poking fun at humorous jokes about my skin color when it wasn't even funny. He said some, some bullshit like, somebody made a pizza, I, or, I made a pie, a pizza pie. I'm in the kitchen just cooking. Cook it, up. it wasn't even humble, it was me being passive aggressive. I was just like, somebody asked, oh yeah, who made this? And I said, oh yeah, such and such, whoever did. And that person like, oh, I didn't make it. And I was, he made it, Bryson made it. And I was like, no, it could have been such and such. And then my friend's like, Oh, no, no, I saw Bryce make it. He made it, yeah. Look at him, he's trying to be humble. He's blushing. <laughs> so it's just shit like that, man. Listen, intuition, it's almost like a whisper. It's, it's like that uh, light breeze in the wind. And if you can t fine tune yourself into it, become your guide for a lot of things. Because when I walked in to work this morning, whew. My friend was already there, manager, and the two owners were already there. They never come on a Tuesday. They only show up there on Mondays. But it was just far-fetched. I was all like, something's up. 
And then I just go about my regular business of opening the front of the house. My friend and the other owner sitting there chit-chatting it up. And then I start like sweeping the floor, get all the the tea and stuff ready. And then they're like, hey, yo, Bryce, you want to come over here and sit down with us? And pff, you could feel it. Because the owner walked past me when I was sweeping the floor. And it was just like, he didn't ask how I was doing. He didn't ask good morning. It was just a... <laughs> and that was it. And it takes a real big person to swallow your pride and to swallow that ego and that anger and that rage and that malice and that hate and that spite and that envy and to swallow all of that. Not to go back over there and do something to that company. It takes a lot of personal strength to do that. Being let go from a job sucks. Not having life go the way that you think it should go or the way that you would like it to go sucks i just like extremely expensive things but napoleon hill claimed that failure is truly not failure it's a postponement from every failure you have to extract a seed of equivalent exchange for every failure that you have you must be able to see the positive side out of it see that failure as a dying tree but that dying tree has seedlets in it. And you have to take those seeds and germinate those seeds someplace else in order to get positive results. So that's my little vent. You move your life, you think something's gonna happen and life's unpredictable. The Book of Job. On to the next adventure.